follow me swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will to the best of my ability. that convention nothing was the same not the movement certainly not us we were both pretty hurt and pretty angry I would say we joined with a group of underground revolutionaries most of them were wanted by the pigs we weren't wanted but since our friends were it amounted to the same thing I'm talking about the Cambodian bombings. I'm talking about the My Lai massacres. I'm talking yeah. about the killing of blacks. Yeah. It is about time that we meet some of this violence with violence of our yeah. own. Yeah. That kind of talk is totally counterproductive. It shows that you don't want to do the hard job of, of changing people's minds. Yeah. Totally the opposite. Now, look, a revolution has got to start with education. Once you teach the people what's really going down, what's really happened, then they'll join you. Oh, caca. We have been wimpy about an armed struggle a bit too long already. I mean, we have to teach ourselves that we can't only take it, but we can dish it out. And I'll tell you something else. I know that public opinion will be on our side. Wrong. That's not wrong. If you're not willing to fight, you don't belong here. If you're not with us, you're our enemy. Neither you either fight or you split. Right. We have to fight. Split or fight? That's right. <laughs> our belief in our weakness. Now we have to clearly show our strength. People know what's wrong. They want to know what to do about it. We've got to stand up in the face of the enemy and risk our own lives. We will show them what to do is you fight back. We support all those who take up the gun against imperialism. We too must take up the gun. You don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows because it's clearly in the air. Now, we will forecast the end of the system in blood. 